Good morning, guys. Welcome to another edition of Lexington Water Cooler News. My name is Rock Daniels. Today is Thursday, March the 9th, 2023. Now, in weather today, the high is going to be 58. The low is going to be 43. We're going to have an 11% chance of rain today. Now, the sun's going to rise at 6.58 this morning. It's going to set at 6.39 p.m. Now, in our top story today, Mitch McConnell, the United States Senator from Kentucky, has taken a fall at a party. He was attending a party at a Washington, D.C. hotel and has been hospitalized. His condition's yet to be known, but as you may recall, the 81-year-old senator took a fall a couple years ago and broke his arm. Now, the University of Kentucky's J. David Rosenberg College of Law has fallen out of compliance with one of the American Bar Association's accreditation standards due to budgetary issues. The law school's budget deficit resulted from significant renovations to the college's building and spending on scholarships. This has caused them to fail to meet the finance standard. Now, the school, however, remains compliant with all other standards for accreditation. Now, the non-compliance issue does not impact the overall accreditation of the college. The university has until June to respond to the ABA, and it will appear before the council at the November 2023 meeting. Now, Dan Wu, who's a former ramen chef and has no governmental experience, is the first Asian American uh, who is the member of Lexington's most diverse city council. Now, serving as vice mayor of Lexington, uh, he's been less than three months into this first term. Wu has found that the most interesting thing about his new role is how much he is learning about how the city works and how things are to be run. Now, he has been surprised about the amount of informal conversations he's had to have to keep the city running smoothly, or somewhat smoothly, and we discussed with uh, the Herald Leader recently how the Lex Park issues and the recent windstorms had to be prioritized in his work. Now, leading him to have gaps in his schedules to allow for informal conversations. Now, we will have to see how Mr. Wu deals with the Tenants' Bill of Rights issue, because during his campaign, he was very vocal that he would pass this Tenants' Bill of Rights issue, but we have not heard much from him lately, lately on this matter. Now, employees at the Good Foods Co-op in Lexington, Kentucky, have announced their intent to unionize and have joined the United Food and Commercial Workers Union Local 227. Now, the decision to unionize, come, unionize comes after several incidents, including cuts to labor and hours, the dissolution of positions, and the extended probationary period <clears throat> for new hires. Now, the employees are asking for a safe and healthy work environment and for management to prioritize the wellness of the workers and the community. They are committed to the cooperative principles and values and want respect, labor rights, and a democratic process. Now, the Kentucky Senate has passed a resolution for an impeachment hearing regarding a former prosecutor who resigned after being accused of promising a defendant favors in court in exchange for nude photos. Wow. The hearing is scheduled for March 21st and will be the first time in 135 years that the Kentucky Senate has held an impeachment trial. A committee of seven senators will hear evidence from the state house and prepare recommendations to present to the full state senate. It will be up to the full senate to decide whether the, they accept the recommendations, reject them, or move on to a full trial on the senate floor. The Kentucky House has passed a proposal to ban gray machines, which resemble slot machines and have pro proliferated in stores across the entire state. Now, the machines are referred to as legal because they are skill games by supporters and are regarded by others as having a murky legal status. Now, the bill had been tabled by the House last Friday, but House Speaker David Osborne had made a procedural motion to resume consideration of the measure, which was approved, and the bill won House passage by 64 to 32 votes. Now, the measure now heads to the Senate. Now, interested groups on both sides of the debate have time to react to this news. Well, guys, that does it for another edition of Lexington Water Cooler News. Who am I? I'm just Rock Daniels. I'm the Bluegrass Realtor for all your real estate needs in Central Kentucky. So join me again 
tomorrow for all your latest news, weather, and sports right here in Lexington, Kentucky. Have a great day. See you later.